video we're going to go over uh, creating some test cards with the data card 150i uh, to de determine fa functionality of the unit before um, attempting to connect it to software if you're having connection issues with DES modes and things like that but um, quick and easy way to go in and determine what modules are working and what potential problems you're going to have with, with one of these units uh, is to create some of these test cards so we're going to go into the diagnostics mode so we star and then pound the password to three two five three and we're going to hit two for diagnostics and we're going to hit pound at the service prompt all right so here we've got uh, the main menu and the 8 and 2 will take you up and down in the menu so we're going to go down to test cards and then pound will select that menu option there's several different options in here um, the main ones that I would uh, concern yourself with would be uh, indent which you can test that in a couple of different ways but there's also a uh, a mag stripe with emboss and then a mag stripe emboss top so that would probably be the first one that I would start with so you'll hit pound to select that uh, just leave it at the IA format pound will give you stop at one card if you hit uh, one it'll continue until you stop it It'll test the mag encoder. It will then emboss. With that test, you can test the topping, the embossing, and the encoding, which uh, on this particular unit, the only thing that it didn't test was the rear indent, which we can do another test card for that. Or if you happen to have a model with a smart card encoder, which is very rare, but if you did, there's a test for that as well. So now that we know that the um, topping, embossing, and uh, mag, well, and the mag encoding you can test as well by just using notepad and a simple uh, stripe reader. Oh, now you gotta select it first. Alright. And so we know that the uh, the encoder, the uh, embossing, and the topper are, are working with it. So now we can go back to the uh, menu and there's a smart card we were talking about if you happen to have that wheel test is a good one as well it will it will create a card that uh, it doesn't emboss or I mean it doesn't uh, encode or top but it'll it'll emboss every uh, finger on the wheel so you can see what it will test the embosser obviously but it'll show you what every uh, character is on the wheel it all including the uh, the rear indent so you can test the rear indent that way. Um, you can do the topper individually. Um, all these different things. You can do the mag stripe in, uh, different, but, uh, independently. But here's the indent, so we can run that as well to test on this particular unit. Just do the 20 fingers that are designated, pre-designated as uh, 
indent. So it'll tempt the boss, including even empty fingers, but generally these wheels only have zero through nine on one particular font. So now we know that the, uh, the indent works as well. So that is a quick and simple way to uh, determine the functionality of the different components. You can test them individually. You can run uh, the one like I did that, that does multiples. Um, but then we now know that this, this unit, uh, if we're having connectivity issues or whatever, we can at least determine that the unit is functioning or to you know, try to troubleshoot what might potentially be wrong with the unit. And then again, when you're dealing with this uh, menu, pound selects it, zero will take you up to the previous menu, two and eight will take you up and down. If there were sub-menus, four and six will take you that direction. Um, but if you just take zero, it'll take you back out to the service mode. If you'd, there were changes in there, um, you would hit pound. But anyway, that for, the, for this, these purposes, get it back out to the service mode, then you can just turn it off and back on and you're ready to, to do uh, whatever it is you need to with it.